We begin with new video of a traffic stop taking a violent turn. The driver initially pulled over for a busted tail light ends up getting tased. And that's not all. The footage was provided to News 4 today by the man now facing charges in connection to the traffic stop in Weatherford last November. News 4's Nick Camper spoke with him today and he joins us now with the details and what police are saying about all of this. Nick. Heather Barker says he did nothing wrong. He claims to have been non-threatening to officers, but because he stepped out of the vehicle, police became agitated. Get on the ground! No! No! What are you doing? Video provided to News 4 by Derek Barker shows what happened the November night he was pulled over. According to this affidavit, his taillight was out. He basically accused me of a crime and then wouldn't let me see that, you know. Barker was already out of his car before police walked up to him. After being told his taillight was out, he asked to see it himself. Yes, get back in your car. Let me see if my taillight, okay, my taillight, taillight Put your hands behind your back. Through. Really? Hands your back. Put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest. Barker and patrolman Ryan Hetherington became physical with one another. During this time, backup is on its way. Minutes later, Hetherington orders for Barker to be tased. And he was encouraging to be tased again if I didn't get out of the vehicle, but I physically could not get out of the vehicle. After Officer Dylan Owens arrives, he's seen hitting Barker multiple times. They were actually holding me up while he beat me with that, that baton. Barker was later charged with obstructing an officer and resisting. He says he's not sure what he could have done differently to de-escalate the situation. I did everything I could to make him feel comfortable. You know, even though uh, getting out of the vehicle may have been a trigger point for him, it's not a complete uncommon thing. We asked Weatherford police about the traffic stop. They told us they cannot comment because the case will soon go to jury trial. But they did say officers followed policy. I'm not asking for somebody to be hurt here career-wise or anything like that, just to sit down at the table that night and ask them what happened, why did it happen, and how can we ensure that somebody doesn't get hurt like I got hurt. Barker says he's looking to get his charges dropped. A court hearing is set for June.